Libra, the awakened dreamer here to give you a timeless tarot reading. So whenever you find yourself guided or drawn to this video, it's most definitely meant for you. And I do want to take this moment to thank you genuinely for joining me. But I want to remind you, as always, to go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and uh, leave me a comment down below about your individual situation and how it resonates as well. Um, share the video if you could. And let's not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. But uh, when subscribing, don't forget that little notification bell. Uh, most importantly, if I could think uh, in your energy, the message that came through was, uh, this is beyond unbelievable. This is beyond unbelievable. And so with that said and done, as I get just a little bit nervous as well, uh, let's get started. Let's begin by doing some shuffling. We're going to pull from the Light Seer's tarot deck for you today. And do keep in mind in the meantime, as I shuffle, uh, this is a general reading for the sign of Libra. Um, any placement within your chart or placements, however ends up working for you, all apply. As well as if you're here to hear about a Libra in your life, you are more than welcome to join as well. And um, because it's general, take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, given not everything uh, should apply. I mean, it can, you never know. And um, I do encourage you, if you haven't been doing so already, to check out your uh, other placements within your chart. It's good to get different um, angles, different, hear different readings, you know, if one resonates, one doesn't, or both might, you never know. So sun, moon, rising, north node, your Venus, check them all, okay? Thank you, Spirit, for our lovely Libras to get started. Ooh, that was feisty. We're going to take them all according to spirit. Sometimes there's one spirit telling me one order and then another spirit saying, let's go in this order. And so I have to kind of use my judgment as to which one to listen to. Uh, bear with me as we're going to keep pulling, keep shuffling. Thank you, spirit. As you can see, we take uh, jumper or flyer cards in this channel. And with exceptions, uh, when guided, pulling from the top or bottom of the deck. And we're going to go with just those. Okay. Alrighty, let's see here. We're beginning with a Five of Cups. You might find that you're dealing with a very noisy, very abrupt kind of chaotic environment at this time. Or multiple within your life, whether it's at home or... Uh, within your work in uh, work environment, whether it's a group of friends, you name it, or you end up going to an event that ends up being really noisy. Just feel the need to mention that. As you drift to the past, as you drift to an old way of being in, in your mind, an old situation almost uh, without meaning to glorifying things. If I did this, if I did that, would it have ended up better? Would I have Things have panned out the way I expected when I have not ended up where I am today. Why can't I feel better about where I'm at knowing that it's temporary or knowing that things are going to improve? A feeling as if where you're at currently, whether it's one area of your life or multiple, uh, some, for some of you Libras, it's just your entire life feeling as if this is just beyond un unbelievable. It's just, it makes me nervous on edge. The energies I'm surrounded with are just simply the... Things I'm witnessing, things I'm overhearing, uh, just feeling as if you don't fit in in one way, shape, or form, or it's just not the right situation or situations for you at this time. But Spirit's saying you're where you're meant to be at this moment. And for you to kind of keep drifting to the past, keep drifting to where things used to be, uh, trying to better understand this and that, it's not helping you at this point because I feel as if the Libras drawn to this reading have learned and grown from what had happened, have sort of made certain conclusions to the point where drifting to the past so consistently uh, or every once in a while these days is not going to help you anymore. You need to stay present and realize that what you have is an ideal, sure, but it, whether, you know, regardless of what it is for you, but things will improve moving forward and you know that intuitively, don't you? So why are you ignoring that intuition and sort of overshadowing it with your old habit of drifting to the past? Let it go, let it flow, and keep it present and simply focus on all the beautiful things that you have lying ahead for you. 
Spirit's saying it's so unbelievable, it's so uh, uncomfortable or just irritating or simply disappointing in one way, shape or form. You feeling as if where you're at once again just doesn't work for you. And so let that motivate you, let that kind of light a fire under your ass to do everything you need to, to kind of set things in motion, to plan for all that lies ahead, for what you desire in the future. Let the changes take place, the Hierophant. As you're feeling a bit distracted these days or just overwhelmed or simply feeling as if it's hard to get work done or hard to accomplish the completion of certain goals, it's feels like consistency is so difficult to achieve for you. You're, it's so easy to drift from your ideal path or drift from, once again, that vision you've held for your life. At times, letting the habit of drifting to the past uh, keep you, uh, make you doubt that the future you once envisioned for yourself is even possible. And that's the point where you will see spirit in the universe come through in small ways and remind you through social media, through memes, through um, commercials, TV, movies, you name it, other people in your life to tell you that things are going to happen, things are going to work out for you, that it's possible to hold that vision, to remember your dreams and goals and don't lose sight. And at times you trying to kind of wrap yourself up in something enjoyable like a hobby or redirect your energy, whether it's just solely to your kind of hermit energy, your hermit time, your alone time, uh, feeling as if things are too overwhelming around you. And Spirit's saying that's great and all, you know, redirect your energy to be productive, to kind of keep yourself vibing high or to get your vibes back up there, but don't, or to maintain a little level of inner peace as you feel you're inclined to sort of ramble at times, but don't let it distract you from all that you're trying to achieve. Remember, there's a lot uh, at stake for you and don't let that make you feel nervous or on edge or just kind of like, oh shit, it just let it kind of remind you that you have it going on and there's a lot to look forward to once again. They're drawing me to this uh, blossoming flower in the background and a lot of you spiritually uh, in that one category are blossoming, you know, but in general, you're going to be reminded and just you'll just feel intuitively uh, that you're still growing, you're changing, you're developing into who you're meant to be in this lifetime. And so to accept a situation or multiple situations in your life that aren't ideal as permanent or concrete is just, it's not realistic, right? To accept and realize fully that you're changing and growing. Side by side, you have to understand that those situations or that situation, your life in that sense is growing and developing as well. To accept that there's beautiful changes on the horizon. Moving on to the Three of Pentacles. I'm hearing, wow, is that Libra? Wow, I mean, I just expect you to be doing worse or I expect for something to be getting to you more. And at times it does, but you don't show it. Or even if you do, it, you still bounce back. It, there's a feeling that a lot of Libras went through a really rough a uh, situation, a rough chapter of their life, and they bounced back, uh, feeling that healing just is, is looking beautiful on you. You kind of going through at times a bit of a rough uh, emotional chapter or chunk of your, your path and spirit saying that's okay. It's purposeful. But guess what? People are noticing you. You're meant to be in the spotlight in one way, shape, or form, whether that's on social media, online, whether that's, you know, through your work. You know, you simply doing what you have to do to, to get your voice out there these days or starting to do just that. Finding that your path has a, a lot of spotlights on it and whether that leaves you uncomfortable, uncomfortable, excuse me, to the point where you can barely get out what you're trying to say or just leaves you feeling that sense of vulnerability. Uh, be one with it, sit in it, allow for it to teach you something and understand that it's worth getting your voice out there. It's worth uh, allowing people to notice you in this light. People need to start noticing that Libras are changing. You're changing, you're growing once again, it's a beautiful thing and people are starting to notice. At times you feel like a project or business is just not progressing in the manner it should be, uh, but you getting certain levels of attention from it or for it and it's like, okay, well then why can't this kind of match that attention that I get at times? speak you know get your voice out there once again i feel the need to tell a lot of libras that you have a lot to say your life experiences were not easy 
up until this point. And it's not to say things are going to be smooth and perfect moving forward, but all that you've been through needs to be spoken upon and expressed in one way, shape or form for you to, I'm seeing someone painting, uh, to affect the lives of others in a positive way to, you get what I'm saying. And now I'm hearing your way is the way people noticing that you do things differently and it shines and it, it's, it's different. It's eccentric at times, but it's almost like people couldn't even imagine going about something in the way you do, but it works. It's successful. It's again, unique. So embrace that unique side of you as you move forward and do your best to, to shine, to feel that vulnerability. Four of cups. They're saying on a positive note, it's, this is unbelievable, you know, that you're getting this attention, that people are noticing you, that your change and growth these days is being uh, kind of shined on with the spotlight. An offer is going to come in that you just are not intuitively feeling inclined to accept. I just heard it this way. No, thank you. You trying to be polite, but feeling kind of feisty and abrupt about it, where it's just like, whether it's popping up from the past for some of you, or whether it's something new, it's just like, I know better. I know what's right for me. I know where I'm going. Some uh, people trying to, within your life these days, certain energies being like, why don't you do this with your life? Why don't you take this offer? Why don't you have this opportunity for you? And you just being like, I mean, thanks, but no, it, I know where I'm going, or I know sort of the vague idea of the direction I'm heading in or I'm starting to get a better handle on it. So you just kind of feeling kind of defensive uh, for that vision or that direction you're trying to head in and being like, I'm good, I'm solid, thanks. Uh, I'm gonna need my space at this point now so I can kind of work towards my dreams and goals. Uh, feeling as if once again, that offer from the past or the present is just not gonna work for you. And Spirit's saying trust that intuition because you've got a bright future ahead for you. And at times, accepting the wrong offer can just adjust things or switch it up in the wrong direction. It's a true reminder in this moment that times when you should have trusted your intuition, your beautiful Libra intuition in the past, and didn't, things didn't pan out the way they should have, did they? Something to keep in mind. The Knight of Cups to move on to the second half of the spread. You, this is coming through as your energy. You feeling a new sense of passion and creativity come over you as you feel inclined to de decline certain offers. You find the attention sort of being on you in an in, in odd kind of way, uh, even if it's not as consistent as you'd like at times, or even if at times you don't want it at all. Feeling as if your habits are being... There's a spotlight on them, right? From spirit and the universe being like, uh, Libra, you need to focus on whether you are in giving, watering healthy habits or unhealthy habits. You know, as you sort of get ready to step into what feels like a bright new chapter for you, whether it's in one area of your life or your life in general, uh, that could be moving a new job, a whole new set of friends feeling like the situations and friend people have just been shedding from your life uh, rapidly. And spirit saying that's because you're waking up to what you're meant to be doing in this lifetime, some of you spiritually, and it's just all naturally meant to happen that way, even if at times it feels a bit lonely or a bit rocky. And so your habits again are being kind of shined on and the, the universe and spirit, your guides are like, Libra, are you focusing on the wrong things? Are you utilizing your mindset to your advantage? Are you getting too distracted at times? Are you focusing on what you need to? And spirit saying, when this comes to be, make certain changes and adjustments moving forward, even if it, you're feeling, again, a bit uh, on edge, a bit nervous due to certain energies around you or certain chaos that just you can't escape just yet. But again, you're feeling more creative, you're feeling more passionate, more like you. It's like a new version of you is coming to life. It's beautiful and you just don't know fully how to deal with it yet. And so you don't expect others around you to to know how to go about sort of understanding it or grasping it just yet. It is, but you're sort of like, uh, take a seat, you know, come with me on this ride, you know, this journey as I sort of figure out who I am and what I want out of life. Uh, it doesn't need to all be figured out now and you're sort of grasping that um, in the meantime. 
this for some of you is coming through as someone else's energy coming through uh, to rush in and be like, I see the changes that are happening for you. I see you just looking good or, you know, healing, just shining uh, from within. Interestingly put, Spirit's saying that was exactly how it was meant to be said. And you might find yourself wording things in an odd way and just feeling as if that was meant to be. Not overthinking as much as you were in the past. All right, if not, if that doesn't feel like the case now moving forward, it will. And um, a lot of you feeling like, okay, well, as quick as I am to decline an offer that feels, you know, wrong for me, I'm so quick to accept an offer that's right for me. Moving on to temperance. To finish up this reading, Spirit's saying you need to have patience with yourself and the process as you grow and develop and as things just feel uh, beyond uh, off around you at times. It, we, again, feeling misunderstood or just feeling like you don't fit in in one way, shape or form. Allowing yourself to remember that you're blossoming, you're changing, you're growing. I feel the need to keep saying you're getting ready to spread those wings and fly towards all you deserve, whether again it's in one area or multiple, are multiple areas of your life, uh, needing to establish a new sense of balance within your life as you continue to grow. And being aligned with the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Cups as things keep rushing in as you feel like opportunities are presented to you uh, so often, it, one, a lot of which being not meant for you, it's testing what you've learned up until this point, it's testing uh, the experiences you've had to overcome and sort of mistakes you've made in the past and spirits saying okay good so now trust your intuition trust what you know what you've learned and make those choices continue to feel confident about all that you're deciding to decline and accept as things unravel as you feel as if everything around you is just beyond unbelievable for the good and for the bad with that said and done i hope this reading was truly helpful as always don't forget to go ahead and uh, like comment share and subscribe if you haven't done so already and don't forget to send me an email about booking a personal reading. Sending you nothing but love and light at this time. I hope you have an amazing day, week, and month, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Libra.